Red wildfire hair and chipped black nails. Broken, oh so broken green eyes painted in too many purple sparkles. Distracting from the fact she's just skin and wrists, three-quarter sleeves can't hide a road map of veins. Slim as a maple leaf shed a season too early. I met her on a Tuesday between trousers and turtlenecks. Our friendship grew from counting dimes and hanging shorts. We were barely 16. Between dust-shuffling weekends and zodiac-giggling nights, she stole time like it was survival and made a home on aisle 19, pocketing pinto bean promises like she was eating Mexican forever, snatching a red winter coat neither of us could afford for her half-winter life. When she was caught, there was no apology, no penalty, no remedy. I did what I could, but it was never enough. Starvation was her currency measured in tin lids and cracker box tops. What is hunger, anyways? I could tell you about stomach acid and enzymes, biochemicals and proteins, nerve impulses and the duodenum and the ileum and the appendix. I could give you fancy words like masticate and barbiguous. It's not these words I want to stick in your mind, rather the face of a girl to whom the world's been a little less kind, that time can't be so difficult for your latte to find, that you who need nothing but wealth are defined. I don't think that 16 then is less hungry than 21 now. Social programs and safety nets only go so far. The food bank won't take her, nonprofits won't help her, and adults can't even touch her. She's only a kid, too young to be helped. Her parents can't feed her, or maybe they won't. She's reluctant to steal, though she knows it's her next meal. If only your heart was wrenched the same way mine feels. I can't stand this entitled generation. I hate the one million likes, the YOLO, the do-nothing. A people bred on anything for you and yes always. People taught that two extra shots, no foam, double cup, upside down, a pump and a half of hazelnut, six pumps caramel, three Splenda, topped off with whipping cream, is exactly what they deserve. That the cure to an empty soul is a full closet. That public opinion refuses to admit poverty of the spirit is a first world disease and that a social crisis can be remedied with someone else's cheap green paper. It's not your money I want, not even your pity, but a mind made ready that's sharper and steady to take notice of shadows with no food and less love, and do a practical thing right here and now and tomorrow, and every day after that. Not your existence, your life. I want your passion and charity for you to see the brokenness before you end do something. If your stomach is full and you have a roof over your head, these words are for you. Let others take their speeches and PR campaigns. Listen. Give. Feed. Speak. Sing. Learn. Listen. As we feed the starving children of the entitled generation. Five years are only a separation in time. She grew. She moved on. She made it. The boy who asks me for 16 packs of oatmeal every Wednesday to feed his sisters this weekend, he's still working on it. So when you tell me your coffee needs a little bit more foam, I think of that redhead girl and her pinto beans. <laughs>